Hello again, Ben M7 FRS here, and I'm back with another short video featuring the Q900. This time we've got a USB keyboard connected, and I'm going to see what use it is to us. So if you've watched one of my previous videos, you may well remember that I had some issues trying to input my call sign uh, into the Q900. So I'm going to see if that's a bit easier with the keyboard connected. So first of all, we need to press and hold the menu button to take us into the main menu. We then need to scroll across to uh, About, which is at the bottom right-hand corner. We then press the uh, Menu button again. Uh, it shows us there's no call sign input at the moment. So if we press the Menu button again, this time it gives us the box to put the call sign into. And I'm just going to simply type on the keyboard and see if we can input my call sign. So that was far simpler than using a numeric keypad. I'm just going to press the uh, menu button and hold it again to clear that. We'll press menu again to get us out of that menu. And we'll see if this has worked by switching the radio off. And then when we switch it back on again, hopefully it'll have remembered my call sign. So that seems to have worked. What we'll have to do is uh, have a look on uh, further switch offs and ons to see if it's actually stayed. Because last time, it uh, every time I repowered the, the radio, it, it lost a character or two. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see if it memorises it this time. The other feature I wanted to try whilst I've got the USB keyboard connected is the uh, CW functionality of it. So we're in uh, CW mode, we've uh, dropped the power right down and we're going into a dummy load. I'm going to see if we can uh, decode what we send uh, off the Q900 onto the Zygu G90. So if I press and hold the band button, it takes us into CW mode. I'm going to come down to uh, decode. And I'm going to turn decode on by scrolling right. So now the decode is on. So we'll come out of that menu by holding the band key again. And you can see at the bottom here it's got uh, RX and TX. So we should be able to see what we're sending out and what we're receiving as well. So I'm simply going to try sending a few CQ calls and then my call sign. So hopefully you can just about see on the bottom of the screen there what we've sent out. It is incredibly tiny, the lettering on that screen, but it is just about readable if you've got good eyesight. And moving on to the G90 then, you should be able to see what I've sent. So I'll send it again. And it seems to have uh, decoded that quite well. So uh, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you found that useful. Again, another short one, but uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.